Magentic UI, a UI for AI agents. Also, it can browse your computer locally on your computer using Olama, which means all your data remains private and you can run this completely for free. I asked, when does post office near DE1 UK close today? It's automatically opening this virtual computer and here it's processing the request. I'm accepting the plan. It's searching the internet by controlling this virtual computer. It's automatically searching and taking relevant screenshots as you can see here and it's processing the request. Finally, I got the answer here. But how reliable is this? How can you run this locally on your computer? Step by step. Also, is there any drawbacks? That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Magentic UI is an experimental human-centered web agent to perform general tasks. So you provide a task, automatically it spins up a virtual computer and able to perform tasks on your behalf. And you can run this locally on your computer. Also, it consists of different types of agents such as web surfer agent, coder agent, and file surfer agent. Based on the task provided, it uses these agents to perform the task. Here is the evaluation comparison. On the right hand side, that is human, Magentic UI, simulated user side information. And it comes to this mark. So first step, go to olama.com and download olama. That's where you're going to run the large language model. Once after you download in your terminal of your computer, type olama pull quen3. That's what I'm going to use. And it'll automatically download the model. Note that I'm using Mac Studio, but this generally works on Mac computers and Windows with the same setup. There might be slight difference in regards to Windows. So after this, pip install Magentic UI Olama and then click enter. I'll provide all the code in the description below. So after this, just type Magentic UI port 8081 and then click enter. This will automatically create the required containers using Docker. So Docker should be running in your computer. If you haven't downloaded that yet, you can go to docker.com and then download Docker desktop. So that is a prerequisite before running this Magentic UI port 8081 command. So once after it downloads all the pods and running in the Docker container, then you can see the URL here. It's running in this path. So I'm going to open this and this is how it looks like. So here, next go to settings. Then in settings, I'm going to model configuration and you can choose Olama here, Olama local. And you also have other providers if you want to choose such as OpenAI, Open Router, Azure Foundry template, but I'm choosing Olama local. So after that, here I'm going to change the model name to Quen3. That's why I've downloaded. So that's it. It automatically saves that configuration and I'm going to close this. Now I can ask list few Italian restaurant in London Bridge. Now it automatically opens the virtual computer with the user interface. So you can even take control by clicking that. Once after I completed the control, I can give back the control to Magentic UI. Now it's continuing the request. I'm just typing continue. So if you take control of this virtual computer, automatically this execution pause. So to continue, you might need to type continue again for it to continue. Now it's preparing the plan and in the plan it says, I will search for Italian restaurants in London Bridge. I will use Bing, find top rated Italian restaurants in the area. Waiting for your input, accept plan. And I can also generate new plan if I didn't like this. Now it's processing the request to control the web. It's asking for approval again. So approving that request. And you can see it automatically performed this Bing search, Italian restaurants in London Bridge. And here you got the list. Also, it's taking a screenshot, which you can see here. And this screenshot is sent to Quen3 using Olama and everything happening behind the scenes. Finally, I got the answer here. Top rated Italian restaurants in London Bridge. Rating, hours, and you can see the list here. This is brilliant. Now you are able to provide general tasks to this agent and perform requests. So overall, I really like this. But considering you are running this model locally on your computer, this depends on your speed of your computer and the number of softwares you're currently running on your computer. If your computer is faster, then this performance will be much quicker. If you have a low spec computer, then this is going to be slow down your process. So that is a key drawback I see here. For me, it took approximately five to 10 minutes to perform this request based on my Mac Studio with basic spec. So do try and let me know in the comments below what you think about this. And I'm really excited about this. Considering you already like Magentic UI, 
I also created another video about Magentic AI agents with Olama. This is a Microsoft's product. I will put the link in here and I highly recommend for you to watch and I will see you there.